right, all. Today we are starting out with the game The Plague Doctor of Wipra by Electrocosmos. This game released in 2022 and it's been on my indie gaming backlog. So let's jump in and get started with our first part of our playthrough The Plague Doctor of Wipra. Dear Professor, I am writing to you from Wipra, a town in central Germany. Here the plague has stuck particularly hard and the town lacks trained physicians. And so I have been sent to Wipra to help care for the afflicted. Today was my first day in the local Covenant Hospital. As a plague doctor, I've had to offer condolences to many parents, children, and relatives when there was nothing more to be done for their loved ones. But now I believe I've discovered the cause of this plague. The day's events have sparked numerous insights that form the basis of my theory. But let me start at the beginning. His feet are sticking off the bed. <laughs> That's funny. And I magically have clothes on. The sun is already high in the sky, and I'm sure plenty of work awaits me at the hospital. But first I have a house call to make. The basket weaver has asked me to look in on his sick child. Okay, so we have to go to the basket weaver to check on a sick kid, and then we have to go to the hospital. I will surely encounter situations today where I will need to consider my actions carefully. I am well aware that my decisions can have far-reaching consequences. I prefer to let fate surprise me. Um, I am well aware that my decisions can have far-reaching consequences. However, I'm well aware of my that my decisions can have far-reaching consequences. I should gather what I need before setting off. Dog barking is kind of annoying. <laughs> A tallow candle. My ink well and quill pen. Handbook of modern medicine, a reference, a reference book of various diseases and treatments. Can I pick it up? Yes. I have to find my bag first. Okay. That's it. My bag. Okay. I'm just gonna pick that up. I have my bag. I should pack my things now. It's good that I've got the book on me. If I ever get stuck on a case, I can refer to it. Now we've got a medical book. How do we look at it? My reference book on diseases and medicinal recipes. I'm not sure how to open it. But I have to give it to myself? I'm not sure. We'll figure it out, I guess, as we go. A few loose scrolls and medical theories. The merchant charged me dearly for them. Okay, it doesn't seem like we can pick it up. Can't pick up anything there. What's this? Sharp knife. I've had to use it often to excise diseased flesh. We might need that. Yep. I have everything. Okay. Heavy ceramic mortar. A portrait of my father himself, a respected physician. Take much from the rich and little from the poor was his advice to me. My winter coat, a precious garment. But it's mild outside. Okay, so we don't need it. We're off to see the wizard. No, we're really not. We're off to like take care of sick people or whatever. Application Systems Hildebrand presents The Plague Doctor of Wipra, a game by Electro Cosmos, art code and writing by Alexander Leps. <laughs> music, Titus Drissen. I like the music, by the way. Pixel art is pretty, too. Crafter's Alley, the basket weaver's house must be here. God be with you. My name is Oswald Keller. I'm the new physician at the hospital. Ah, the doctor. The doctor? 
<laughs> it sounds like Doctor Who. I am Arnold from the City Watch. What is it? I'm looking for the. Well, what ha Let's. I want to know what happened. What happened here? What does it look like? The cutlers come down with the plague. He must have had a rapid decline. My wife already slipped out with the brats, or I'd be sealing them up in there too. Why is that? The mayor issued the order today. Otherwise, people refuse to isolate, he says. Besides, empty houses attract looters, and keeping order is hard enough already. I'm looking for the house of the basket weaver. It's over there on the other side of the street, under all the garbage. Hey, I don't want to keep you from your work. That's it. Alright. Can we catch chickens? No, it doesn't look like we can catch chickens. What's going on over here? What's going? Are they talking about us? What's going on? Rumors? They are loudly negotiating a price for a pig. Oh. <laughs> Not talking about us. Can we go up there? This is the way to the hospital, but I still have a house full to make. Okay. Is this the house? <laughs> the basket weaver's coat of arms. It does look like a basket. Um, let's see. I mean, that would make sense, right? For a basket weaver. <laughs> okay, we can't do anything with that. A wooden stick. Let's pick it up. Okay. Rats. They're so numerous. They've become fearless. Let's see if we can't go in. Maybe we'll get scared off. I have to scare the rats away first. Hey. Uh, let's try this stick we just picked up. Maybe we have to put it over on the rats. Go away, rats! <laughs> they got scared off. Knock, knock. Knock. Good day. I am the new physician. Oswald Keller is my name. Your husband asked me to pay you a visit. I feel like we speak very properly, which is funny because I'm not a proper speaker, so I may mess this up. Oh, Dr. Keller, I'm glad you're here. Please come in. Close the door quickly, please. The rats will get in. Place looks kind of dumpy, <laughs> I hate to say. Close the door quickly. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Thank you. It's gotten so bad with these rats lately. My husband is out at the market right now. I'm sure he'll return soon. What exactly is the trouble? Please take a look at our, our Sven. Something is wrong with him. He won't get out of bed, refuses to eat, complains of pain. Okay. Is this Sven? There's the little patient. I can't examine him in the dark. Okay, we probably need light. Can we talk to this one? No. We need light. Is there anything in my inventory? I don't think we brought a candle with us. Maybe. Okay, what can you tell me about your son's condition? Three days ago, he was running around in the street with his brother like usual. Then he suddenly felt sick. He took to his bed and has stayed there ever since. It's too dark to examine him. Could you, like, get some light in here? I can't examine your son in the dark. <laughs> I said it in the hazy way. Can you, get, like, get some light in here? <laughs> I'd like to, doctor, but the baby. Do you think you could manage the light yourself? Please take whatever you need. Okay. What's this? To heat the room with this incense burner. It's radiating a lot of heat. Kidoki. Over here. A jug and a bowl of beef tallow. Stack of plates. Bowls and a lamp. Oh, we need the lamp. Give me the lamp so we can work on the kid. I have the lamp, but it needs fuel and a wick. Well, can we use this? The coals are still glowing brightly. I hope the straw doesn't catch fire. I feel like... Or can we use the stick? Stick doesn't catch fire. I'll put it in the lamp. Okay. 
this. Basket full of laundry. Dried herbs tied with a long string. I feel like every time I play a point and click game, there's always the figure out how to turn on the light part. What was this again? Okay, can we get some of that beef tallow? Can we use that? It doesn't seem like it's letting us. Oh, there we go. We can put the beef tallow in the lamp. Still missing a wick. Can we use the stick? No. <laughs> missing a wick. We gotta find a wick. Something that will work as a wick. Baby, baby, please don't cry. Let your mommy go to sleep. <laughs> I feel like the stick is the solution. <laughs> but we can't put the stick in the lamp. Can we put the stick in the beef tallow? No. All right, all right. Okay, I just thought of something. Put that down. Let's see if we can carve. Because it said there was string over here. It's herbs with that are hung up by string. Let's carve some string out. Cut off a long dangling string. Okay. Now we have a wick. So now I guess we can do this. I'm guessing. And then put this over here. And then can we maybe... Nope. Nope. So maybe we have to put the wick in the lamp first. Let's carve off another piece of, of the stick. This stick is lasting us an awfully long time. I've carved it many times so far. <laughs> and then we light the lamp. Now we should be able to examine the patient. I should put the lamp somewhere so my hands are free. Um, Let's see. Where can we put the lamp? Can we put it on top of here? Nope. Can they hold it? Hello, little man. Hello, doctor. I need space for my examination. Can you move to the other stool? I'm already gone. Wow, that kid moved fast. I didn't even see it. Okay, and then we're going to put it here. Now, finally, we can check out the patient. Ben, I'm going to examine you now. Heart is beating fast. Apart from that, nothing unusual can be seen on the upper body. Okay. There are small dots on the calves and ankles, and I know these dark spots. Who is this? Hello, Mr. Dr. Oswald Keller. Good day. One moment, please. I have to look at Sven's brother, too. But what? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Red and flea bites, just like Sven's, but no spots. That's good. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. I observed many flea bites on Sven's legs, but unfortunately, also dark spots. They are a sign of the plague. Oh no! What are you saying? Please listen to me. I know this is terrible news, but there is still a chance of recovery. The pestilence hasn't progressed far yet. What should we do now? Give Sven plenty to drink. He also needs fresh air. Fresh air? But the rat's outside the window. Yes, I know. I'll try to come up with something. Stay here. Don't leave the house. There's a new regulation. I'll come back later today and help you somehow. Dr. Keller, a word. What was the reason for your visit to the basket weaver? That is between a physician and his patient. In the case of the younger son, everything points to the plague. Simple fever. Ugh. Y'all are gonna make me 
I am a truth teller. I don't really like lying. <laughs> like, but we do have, usually doctors have, you know, patient and physician confidentiality. So I took a Hi Hippocratic oath, maybe. <laughs> I know this is like olden times. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We're going to go with that's between a physician and his patient. Is that so? Remember, Dr. Keller, every case of the plague must be reported. Even if it means another door for me to seal. Yes, I'm aware of that. Good day to you. I have to help this family. Without help, they will either have to leave their child or all, or all die together. I'm sure I'll think of something at the hospital. Okay, here's the hospital. Here it is, the Covenant Courtyard at and Attached Hospital. The sisters of the Order of Poor Claire's work pray and care for the ailing people here. However, the profession of physician is reserved for men. Anything around here to look at? I don't see anything. Anything over here? We're just looking because I want to know. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. It's a well. Okay, let's go in. Hello? God greet you. I'm Dr. Oswald Keller. I was asked to help out in your hospital. Ah, Dr. Keller, you're here at last. I am Johanna, Mother Superior of this Covenant. Welcome to Wipra. Or Convent. I keep saying Covenant. Convent. <laughs> your help is urgently needed. Um, I had a house call to make. Okay, what needs to be done? We have a very important visitor. The Countess is in the reception room. She has been awaiting medical services for some time. She has always given generously to our convent. I'm sure I don't have to point out to you that she must not be kept waiting any longer. I will take care of it immediately. Good. Once you have seen to the Countess, please come find me. I will be through this door in the kitchen if you need my help. Stop. Who are you? My name is Oswald Keller. I am the new physician here. Good. Her ladyship is waiting. Wait, let's look at stuff before we go and see her. She can wait. <laughs> she keep waiting. She waited a little while anyways. A shelf of precious books. The subjects are Catholicism and medicine. I don't know what to look up. Okay. Water jug and a small bowl. Can we pick it up? Yes. The reason I'm doing this beforehand is we might need it. <laughs> Bronze crucifix. Locked. Mm-hmm. Can we open it up with a knife? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wondering. Um... The warm sun is shining through the window. Excuse me. Don't talk to me. Her ladyship is waiting. Okay. Good day, my lady. Dr. Oswald Keller at your service. Dr. Keller, a pleasure. I am inconsolable. My personal physician, Dr. Suskind, recently succumbed to the plague. This is why I require your services. I am suffering from a terrible headache. Bloodletting has always given me relief. Where should I perform the bloodletting? I will prepare the bloodletting. Bloodletting does not seem appropriate. I don't think bloodletting seems appropriate. <laughs> With all due respect, my lady, I don't think bloodletting is the best way to relieve your migraine. How dare you! Dr. Suskind swore my bloodletting, and I demand it. How dare you? <laughs> As you wish, my lady. I will prepare everything for bloodletting. 
Hurry up, this headache is unbearable. You know, I think maybe bloodletting would help your headache just because you're not thinking about the headache. <laughs> Can I look up anything on the shelves? Handwritten copy of the applied for humor's doctrine, according to Hippocrates. Hippocrates. Hippocrates? Hippocrates. There we go. <laughs> a loose sheet with an illustration of a zodiac man. A zodiac man for bloodletting. Okay, so they're pointing at the head. I have no idea what any of this means. <laughs> I don't know what the thing to the right of the head is. We're wanting to take care of the head. So maybe we're going to have to like do something like make cuts like to the right or something. We'll have to figure this out. The drawing shows the most favorable time for bloodletting. Oh, it's the it's the time of day. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. The drawing shows the most favorable time for bloodletting on the body it, part in question. Unfortunately, the drawing is damaged and the signs of the zodiac can no longer be made out. If I could find out when and where Dr. Suskind bled the countess, I could reconstruct the drawing. Where and when? Hmm. Okay. Instead of trying to just guess what the right ones are, let's let's see if we can't talk to her any further. That we can, of course. I was sitting there trying to guess. Okay, so let's ask her some more questions. When did you have your last bloodletting? I couldn't tell you exactly. Anyways, last month in May, I asked for bloodletting, but Dr. Suskind objected. I still remember his words. Too soon, my lady, the scar would disfigure your neck. Such a pity about him. How often did Dr. Suskind perform bloodletting? Every quarter year, the rumors mu must regenerate, Dr. Suskind said. Where did Dr. Suskind draw the blood? I think last time it was on the feet. And before that, it was the thighs. Oh, this is weird. What agony I had to be carried in the pal palanquin for days. Can you think of anything else? Oh, really? Dr. Suskind never bled my head. Okay, I'll take care of it. Hurry up. This headache's unbearable. Do we just do it? Try to kill me, Dr. Suskind used a bloodletting hook, not a butcher's knife. <laughs> okay. I don't see that much of a difference, but okay. <laughs> Be May, and then after May comes June. So she said that they took care of the throat first. Uh, and besides, I think that this is like in order of months. So let's do June. A December, since we, December is our, like our latest month that we have. Mm. And then let's try March here and April here. Yes, I remember my studies. I really didn't. I totally guessed. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you just need to guess. <laughs> I have to perform the bloodletting on the countess's upper arm. So it's June right now. She said we need a hook. So let's talk to her first. So where can we perform the bloodletting? One moment. I still lack suitable tools. Hurry up. The headache's unbearable. Do we have to go? Let's go talk to... Actually, let's talk to him. Can we talk to the guard? No. Let's go see if we can talk to the... 
mother in the other room. Also, let's look at these paintings beforehand. She can wait on the bloodletting. The painting shows Elizabeth of Thuringia. Thuringia. Despite her wealth, she dedicated her life to the care and nurturing of the poor and sick. It is said that moved by enthusiasm for the religious poverty movement, she attended church festivals barefoot and clad only in simple garments. Statue of Francis of Assasi, the co-founder of the Order of Poor Clares. Made of fine sandstone. Anything else you like? Tallow candle. Can we take it? No. All right, let's go into the other room. Why, hello, nuns. <laughs> You're probably not supposed to refer to them like that. Pile of firewood. We're going to look around before we talk to the nuns. Dishes. A bottle of vinegar concentrate. A basket full of cabbages. Can we take any of it? No. Various spices and a glass jar of oil. A small holy water basin and a holy water brush. Every morning the nuns sprinkle holy water to bless the premises. Two ladles and a hook. Oh, we need the hook. We need the hook. She's out here talking about butchering her with a butcher knife, but we just grabbed a hook in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> you know, you, you do what you gotta do, I guess, right? A pot of boiling water. Okay, let's talk to the first nun here. What is it? E to the cupboard in the reception room. I'd like to talk about the house call I had this morning. Let's, let's ask the first one. Can I have the key, please? It's the door, the cupboard's locked. Yes, but we keep only dishes and candles in there. I'd like to talk about the house call I had this morning. Take care of the Countess first. Introduce yourself at the hospital, then we can talk. Nothing else. They're not going to give me the key right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Fine, keep your little secrets, nun. <laughs> Excuse me. She can't hear you. Sister Clara has been deaf since birth, but she has an extremely sensitive sense of smell. Okay. Is there anything else around here? Here we go. Oil could be useful. Let's take it. Oh, and we can take the stuff up here. No, no. The upstairs is for religious sisters only. I want those items, though. <laughs> I can't get to the holy water brush that way. And the sister certainly won't want to give it to me. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. What's this? We're going to have to grab this over here. You have a particular need for the vinegar? I might. I might. I don't want to tell her no. I'm taking everything I can pick up because I know that this is a game where I might need things. Well then, please leave the vinegar where it is. There's a very little there's very little left in the bottle and we need vinegar for the cabbage soup. All right, fine. Can't get the holy water, can't get the vinegar. Ugh. At least we got the hook. Y'all can't take that away from me. <laughs> What's out here? Dr. Keller, have you have you seen to the Countess? Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying out everything. We're going and that we can in this room. Bye, nuns. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, Countess, we have a hook. It's time for for a hook. It's time for hooking. <laughs> it's, it's it's time for getting hooked. Getting hooked on this bloodletting. I'm not hooked on this bloodletting. I, that's barbaric, but you know, whatever. The Countess told us to do it. Were you planning to use that thing on me? That, that hook is as blunt as my boot jack. Okay, fine. Maybe we can sharpen it with a knife. No. It's a hook. <laughs> like what, what do you want from me, lady? My reference book on diseases and medicinal recipes. I thought maybe that would help.
Okay. So we need to find a way to sharpen this hook. There was nothing in the kitchen. We got a picture. We've got a statue. Wait a minute. The statue is... Okay, sandstone. Sandstone statue. That's right. Okay. Here we go. I sharpened the hook on the base of the statue. Okay, let's see if the Countess will let us hook her now. Okay, Countess. Now that we have a proper hook for this quote unquote bloodletting. <laughs> like, uh, I swear, this, this Countess. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Herman, wait outside. Herman? Okay, well, now we know that guard's name. <laughs> the rude guard. Yes, my lady. I guess the guard's just doing his job, but whatever. Well, then. Ugh, there's some blood there. I'm a little woozy. We gotta click on something or just stand here while the blood drippeth. <laughs> That felt good. Okay, that's weird, lady. I can already feel my migraine getting better. It's so weird. It's actually making me kind of woozy just thinking about it. But I feel a little weak. Yeah, think? <laughs> it will get better soon. Please sit and rest for a while longer. I will check on you in a little while. We're not going to talk to her, like... How do you feel? I still feel a little weak. Okay, rest a little while longer. Okay, nothing. Sorry to disturb you. The bowl containing the Countess's blood. We'll take it. I don't know why we're going to take it. <laughs> I feel a little weak taking it. Can't get into that. Fine. <laughs> the warm sun is shining through the window. Okay, let's see if we can interact with the nuns now. Or hey, the guard's out here. Let's talk to the guard. Herman, is it? That's right, chief guardsman to the count. The countess is still recovering. She needs more time to rest and recover from the bloodletting. I'll wait here. Well, good talking to you, Herman. What is it? I've taken care of the Countess. I performed the bloodletting the Countess requested. She is still resting, but her spirits are improved. Very good. Now please go over to the hospital. Sister Agatha can show you everything. Just through the door under the stairs and across the courtyard. Okay, but can like you give me a key? Okay, I guess not. So we're gonna go through here. Ooh, what's in there? Locked. Of course. Fine. What's that? Statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, we are at a nunnery. A hospital. I guess it's not a nunnery, but I'm calling it a nunnery because there's a lot of nuns. The painted cross indicates that plague patients are treated here. Okay. Hello, my name is Oswald Keller. I'm the new physician. Welcome, Dr. Keller. I'm Sister Agatha. I am responsible for the care of the sick here. Um, please tell me about the patients. With pleasure. The young woman in this bed is called Erna. She was brought here two days ago with severe pain, but she is no longer responsive. I fear the Lord God will take her soon. Maybe you can help her? That one over there is Hans. Hans is holding up amazingly well, but his sores need daily attention. 
please take care of him. These two were the last plague patients we were allowed to admit to the hospital. Too often, the fight against the plague has proved futile. Now those who fall ill must be left to themselves and to God's grace. Okay, is there anything I can give you a hand with? Oh, that would be very nice, Dr. Keller. Could you bring me a bucket of water? I need to wash the patients now, but I have a lot of other work to do. Gladly. So I remember there was, I think, their water. Yeah, the holy water. They wouldn't let me get it, but maybe I could find some water. I don't know. We'll find the bucket back there in the cabinet. Oh, okay. I'll get to work. Thanks be to God. My blisters hurt. I'm sorry. And then we'll kind of like look around too before 